If you know anything about my gaming history, you will know how much I love the Fallout series and how much it shaped the games I play. Um, Fallout 3 really changed how I thought about gaming, where I went from being a uh, FIFA and NHL player to throwing myself into RPGs. And that's carried on. New Vegas is one of the greatest games ever made. And despite its many flaws, I love Fallout 4. Problem is, you've seen by now so many people play Fallout 4 in so many different ways. Um, go and watch many a true nerd. Much better playing Fallout 4 than me. However, I'm not just going to play Fallout 4. You see, on the consoles, Bethesda introduced mods. And there's an entire catalogue of different things to look at. Different suits of armour, different types of guns, and different quests. Fan-made quests. And I'm going to look at some of them over the next few weeks. I'm starting today with the one that sort of took my eye the most. The story of a ghoul who was working with the railroad and decided it was a fruitless battle. Ladies, gents and those in betwixt, my name is Elementary. Welcome to Mod the Wasteland, the railroad retiree. Everybody meet Morticia. Morticia is currently the queen of the raiders and is running around trying to take over the commonwealth with them. Anyway, I believe I need to head to the root cellar and read this here note from Pastor Johanny. Well, Whispers, this is it. I can't say anymore. It's been 200 years since they dropped and the world has changed so much. The radiation changed me. It changed all of us. When Emmy went home to be with the Lord afterwards, I knew he'd made different plans for me. Young, full of faith and eager to please... U.S. military trained only three years in when the calls came and the bombs started falling. I kept the lonely chapel clean and open for a while, as was my assigned military duty. Took pride in holding open a house of worship, even after mankind had abandoned all the principles that God had set. Well, the folks who loved to hear of long since gone, and fighting off the people trying to claim the ration bunker was always a losing battle. Hell, the government built the stockpile with public money, so it's their food anyway. And the children of Adam? Let's move on. Over the years, the world has become so unforgiving. I haven't lost faith. I've saved some souls, but I've sent so many onward. Mostly they deserved it, but they're all still with me, assaulting my hope, my memories. Being a military preacher has been a mixed blessing. Helping our friends is all well and good, but i got to get back to focusing on the people. Fighting the Institute is a fool's errand, as you know I've always said. They've been here as long as I have, Tom. They're not leaving, and they're getting stronger. They may be planning to wipe the whole team as I write this. It's also possible they've got a spy on the inside, like Tinker believes. I'm leaving Boston for good, and walking back home to Detroit. Word for a while now has been the Canadian court and the Great Lakes Commonwealth have been keeping a sort of peace in the region. Let's hope it lasts. The Brotherhood's stable, I hear, and there's no sign of enclave remnants. I'm going to miss our time on the balcony. You're a good friend to an old ghoul, but it's time for me to go and walk about and see what the rest of the world's become. Honestly, for being 225, I feel like I have a lot of time left, and I intend to use some of it. My key is on the barrel with my shades. I'm also leaving you my hat and vestments. I know you can stand on your own, but this gear will help. Don't worry, it's not my only set. Parting gifts from a man called Uncle Sam. The shades will work no matter which weapon you're using, and the outfit speaks for itself. You'll find one of my old pistols in the bunker at the ranger's cabin. She's strong and reliable, and you can attach a decent sight mod at the workbench. Pat Sheba on the head for me next time you're at Rocky Narrows. That dog is going to live outlive us all. My heart is in the basement. Eh? My heart is in the basement chest at the Red Rocket near the mausoleum I used to tend as a pastor. I'll keep Emmys with me. Good luck. Godspeed from the lonely chapel. Pastor Johanny. Agent X Part. Retired. So, let's take the hat. Perfect. Action point refresh speed on a hat. That's very kind of you. What's on the thing? It's just some armoured vestments. Grants increasing energy and damage resistance to lower your health. That's very nice. So, let's take that note with me because I need to go to places apparently. So obviously you can't go to Detroit in Fallout 4. So we need to go to the Ranger Cabin. Has that become a quest? No, it hasn't become a quest. Remember to grab my power armor before we go, because who knows what we'll find with this mod on. And we'll go to the Ranger Cabin. 
Hopefully I had it coming. Still one more, is it? Oh, something somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll create a bloke fly, why not? Ranger cabin safe house requires key. Well, hopefully the key's in here then. Something's firing around here. What's going on? Who are you shooting at? Well, it would have been a bad stag. No way to pick this. Museum balcony. Ah. Could that be the Museum of Freedom? Who's there? Oh. The Raiders already spawned. Well, I'm sorry, but if you will enter my territory, then you're probably going to get killed. Thoughts and prayers. Wow, they've even respawned in the... Okay. Now, where have you gone? Have a headshot. Merry Christmas. Get some, motherfucker. Excuse you, there's no need for that sort of language. Now he's shooting me. Yeah, someone's around. Sometime, no, I don't. Son of a bitch. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. You see, what I need to do is learn to read. Norm is here with me. Shout out to Norm for being more observant than I am for a change. Aha. Oh, the shade. Oh, plus one agility and perception. Very nice. Okay. Okay, we're back at the ranger cabin. What have we got in here? Shotgun shells, 10mm, 38, I think I'll do without that. Penetrating Henry's Tech Repeater Pistol. It's a 45 revolver that does energy damage too. That's not bad. Been a while since I played this character, so I'm now going to check my perk chart and see if I've actually got anything in. Gunslinger. I do. In which case, it doesn't do much damage. Okay, well, we'll have a look at it and see what we can do with it. Pat Sheba on the head for me at Rocky Narrows. I don't even know where Rocky Narrows is. Oh, apparently I do, yes. I'll tell you what, let's go to Sanctuary first and see what's going on with this gun. Very good, strong. Right, where am I looking? Penetrating the enemy's tech repeater pistol. Calibrated powerful is the best I've got, isn't it? Makes it 138. It does 28 regardless, okay. Actually, that's pretty good for a pistol. Let's do that. Make it long light. Hmm. Make it into a rifle, it just... I'll make it into a rifle, it reduces the range. That's different. Just keep it as a grip. It's like a short scope on it, why not? I need some more aluminium. Right, a trip to the Dr Drumlin Diner into Diamond City later. And because I get bonus damage to silence weapons. Now there's 35 energy and 172 per shot, which isn't bad for a pistol. Sitting the delivery does 154. Although the like, the Explosive Advance 44 does do a lot more, yes. 
And why I'd use any other weapon when the ghost rifle's right there, I'm not entirely sure, but I suppose the um, two MMEC packs aren't that common. So now we need to go and find a dog. Sheba. Apparently we're going to pet a dog named Sheba, which is interesting because that's the name of cat food. You're not Sheba. I'm not here in my power armour. Ah, oh, yay, yay. In fact, I'm not hearing anything that can give me rad resistance, particularly. Oh no, that gives me a bit. We'll wear that. I've got a ton of fucking radex. Use a ton of radex. No, apparently I didn't clear that out. That's interesting. Sheba! Fuck you, monkey. Right, I've made this gun look slightly ridiculous, but let's see who Sheba is. Oh, hello. I hope Sheba isn't a Yaogai. Rest in peace if you're Sheba. Sheba! Sheba! What the fuck are you? You're mildly terrifying. And I'd love to pat you on the head, but apparently I can't talk to you. And I can't kill you either. Just an invincible feral dog. Okay, I think Sheba was literally the only point of being here. So what's the next part? My heart is in the basement chest at the Red Rocket near the mausoleum I used to tend as a pastor. A Red Rocket near a mausoleum? Where? From what I've just been told, there is one in the uh, Glowing Sea, which apparently I didn't discover. But I've discovered the church it's near to, so it might be that one. So I'm going to get power armor and go to the Glowing Sea. Ooh, got red scorpions. Oh. Oh wow, that does nothing. Wow, yeah, no, no, that 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 gun is not good. Legendary slow time. Don't mind the noises there, normal was just having a panic attack about the fact I was getting attacked. Anyone else? Nah, that's what I thought. Just gonna whack out the never ending assault rifle, it's fine. Cave? No, I'm busy. Oh, look at that, it's a red rocket. My heart is in the basement chest at the Red Rocket. Basement? Doesn't look like there's a basement in here. This may be the wrong one. Okay, we're going on a tour because God knows which one it's at. And there's many. We'll start at Egret Tours. Yeah. Well, I found a Wasteland Survival Guide, but no basement. To the next one. Oh, the Sims don't like me. Okay. Stand down, Sims, we don't care about you. 
Mate, my next guess is apparently there was one still in northwest of East City Downs. Old Rusty's as steady as ever. Let's give him a hand, huh? What a rate! What a rate! Oh, hello. Oh, sugar. As there's no actual uh, building, I'm going to guess it isn't this one. And here they come. To the north of the Electrical Hobbyist Club. Ah! That tour didn't go on as long as I thought it would. Oh, very nice. Lots of ammo. Ported 45 pipe pistol. Well, not everything is a winner. And Jahani's heart. Temporary slows time during combat when you're at 20% or less health. It's a ring. Oh, that's very nice. Wounding Semper Fi pistol. A bleeding, a bleeding 38 pistol. Well, I wonder what I could do with that. Let's go back to Sanctuary and see what we can do with that then. Oh, it could be anything we want it to be. It could be a 10mm auto, apparently, for some reason. The most damage is turn it into a 45, which sounds like a good idea. Doing 100 damage with 25 points of bleed. Not bad. We'll put a suppressor on it. Yeah. See what I can do and see if I can do it. Attach mod. Lovely. Yeah, why not? Let's just make it silly. We've got a long recon scope on this tiny 45 pistol. So, 25 points of additional bleeding damage. If that stacks, that could be quite powerful. So, 125 up against... 172 and 35. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the uh, Henry's tech repeater is definitely better. And... I suppose if you stacked the bleeding, that would be nice. Should we go try it out on something? Yeah, it does reasonable damage. Now who's after me? Oh, the Brahmin are terrified. Okay, fair days. Well, the Brahmin just stuck. Okay, Brahmin weren't the best thing to test it on. Oh, Sheffield's turned on me. Good luck. Actually, that's going to be interesting. If all of Sanctuary have turned on me. Ah, eh. I've come down to do whatever caching in is, um, because that wasn't really much of a test. Wow, you do not do much damage, do you? Excuse you. Yeah, the problem is I don't think you're going to turn out well with a railway rifle. I mean, it would probably also help if I could hit with the railway rifle. There we go. And you... Oh, well hiding. That's fine. Enjoy your grenade. Who am I here with? Oh, just raiders. Okay. Enjoy your head being on the wall. Hey buddy, how's your head? Had any complaints? Night vision shielded gorse rifle. Two gorse rifles on the same dude? That's already a better reward than both of the weapons that I picked up from doing the mod. 
Okay, maybe give this mod a miss. It's a nice little letter. But guarantee if I kill this operator... Yeah, I'd get an unyielding lever left arm out of it, which would already be better gear. So we'll avoid this one, I think. But, you know, it's a start. We've got to see what's on the game. Hopefully the next things I try have got a bit more story to them, or at least change a bit more about it. But before we leave, let's go back to Sanctuary and see if everybody hates me now. Well, nobody's shooting on sight. So I'm going to take that as a win but we'll see there are plenty of mods to be trying and we'll try a few of them so back to me at the desk yeah that one wasn't that great was it i thought it would have more of a story too in it it'd be more than just collect these things and go to these places and that's exactly what it was which is disappointing but at least we got to see a feral dog i don't think we've seen an actual feral dog before been wild mongrels they don't tend to be, like, ghouly. So a ghoul dog was a thing. I'm not sure it's something I want to see again. And I suppose in the right situations, the guns would have been good. It's just that I'm level 68 now, and I've got ghost rifles and never-ending assault rifles and stuff from Nuka World, and they just don't really hold up to what I've got. I think if you went low level, you could do a lot with them. And it'd be quite good for you, but yeah, not for me at this point. Um, hopefully with the stuff that's going to be coming up, we'll, we'll have more success. There's some more quest lines to look at. There's some behavior change mods that we're going to look at. Um, I don't just want to do Fallout. I want to make it different. But I don't also just don't want to copy John. Because if anyone tries to copy John, they won't be as good. So let's take a different slant on Fallout. Because I love Fallout. And I hope that you do as well. Or if not, at least you like what I'm doing to it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you have, if you haven't, please click the subscribe button and maybe click the notification bell because I don't have many subscribers and it's not likely that my videos are going to show up in your algorithm. Although maybe YouTube might be nice to me. Who knows? Uh, do check out links in the description, including my socials. I post pictures of my cat on Instagram. And uh, join the coffee club if you're feeling particularly generous. Um, you can just chuck a donation at me if you feel that way inclined. Or you could uh, join and regularly fund this nonsense that allows me to continue to do this. Be very kind. Thanks for watching. I shall see you Thursday. Bye-bye. <laughs>